Hi, I'm Teresa. And I'm David. And we're host, parents, preservationists, and published authors. And we both tell stories for a living as creative directors in advertising. And this is Camp Wendawega in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. It's a 25-acre property that we've been restoring for the past 15 years. And it's actually where I spent most of my childhood summers. But its history dates back way farther. It used to be a brothel and a speakeasy and a refuge. We bought this place back in 2004, and as we started fixing it up and sharing our story, it struck a chord with people, and they've been visiting us ever since. And a few other folks have started to notice as well. Here are our tips on how to find and share your story. Even if you don't have a 100-year-old speakeasy, there's always a story to tell. It's not just about how many bedrooms or how many baths or what kind of amenities you have. Think about your community. Think about what's interesting. Is there some really cool places to go right in your area? You just have to dig a little. Do a little bit of research. Find what's interesting about the home, the property, the town that you're in. There's so much that you can put in your listing. You just have to dig. Don't be perfect. You don't be perfect. You don't be perfect. Don't be perfect. Don't be perfect. In the beginning, David was writing proper advertising ads in this very highbrow way. Relax in the sunset and have a cup of tea. God, I'm just cringing. <laughs> and it just wasn't us. It's not Wanda Wega. We're an eighth of a star. We, we don't have any amenities. We barely have Wi-Fi. I think at the end of the day, you just have to be honest about who you are and not try to be something that you're not. And that's why we wrote our manifesto of low expectations. It's playful and it's real, and we lean into that. Most people find us on social media first. It's a great way to get discovered. For visual storytelling, it's so important to create scenes that people feel like they can just step right into. Yeah, try walking from room to room and think about how you can create the perfect life moment. <laughs> try showcasing experiences people can have in your home and in your city. Woo! I didn't hit it. Embrace the upfail, as we like to say. Storytelling is a big part of our ethos, but much as people love to hear stories of the mob and the madam and all the things that happen here, they don't necessarily want to know exactly what happened in the room they're staying in. The trap door under the bed in room 26. Don't talk about that. Do you want to see it? <laughs> don't be afraid to fail. You'll start to find your own voice and learn what's resonating with your audience. It gives you confidence, it gives you wisdom, and it gives you a perspective to move forward with. Yeah, let's do it together. I'm three. Ready. One, two, three. Share, share the, the journey. journey. So in the beginning, I was really scared to share our before and after photos. We didn't know how people would take it, but it's funny because it's actually gotten more engagement than anything else we've done. And I think our bookings have actually Damn. gone up. Where do people want to go? They want to go to the same places you do. They want to experience your favorite things. Think about your favorite coffee shop. Think about where you like to go for walks in the morning. Think about your favorite Italian restaurant down the road. They want the insight of what it feels like to be someplace, to live someplace, even if it's just for a few days. Are we sharing enough journey? Should we sing Kumbaya? Kumbaya, mama. I feel like some of the most memorable things that we've experienced have happened at camp and the fact that we get to share that with others has become our why. It's because great stories build relationships and make people care. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. We hope these tips help you find, craft, and share your stories with the world. We need them, people want to hear them, and they help bring us all closer together. I'm Teresa. And I'm David. And we're hosts here at Camp Wanda in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Happy, Happy hosting. hosting.